in here on a little pond where we can see this with water waves. I have two sources of ripples, which are basically like the two slits. When I create ripples with a single source, they travel out with circular wave fronts. Nothing particularly surprising there. But if I add a second source of ripples, then we start getting an interesting pattern. This pattern is created by the ripples from the two sources interacting with each other. Where they meet up peaks with peaks and troughs with troughs, the amplitude of the wave is increased. That's what we call constructive interference. But if the peak from one wave meets up with the trough from the other, then we get destructive interference and there's basically no wave there. ...need at the moment. So if I fit these sliding doors, I can make an aperture that's about, well, about three centimetres across. And if you now look at the screen, you can see that as the waves pass through the aperture, they spread out. This spreading out of a wave as it passes through an aperture is known as diffraction, and it's a property of all types of waves. Well, you might be surprised to learn that a narrower aperture leads to more spreading out of the wave, more diffraction. Have, uh, have different uh, have different diameters. Actually, they're uh, tiny pinholes. So, to you, a, a more sensitive screen, as we can see. Uh, now you see that we're saturating in the middle, but we're beginning to see other rings. Now, if we open up the camera aperture some more, you can even see even more more rings. And again, all these rings and their intensities and sizes and what have you can be calculated from the information.